Okay, here we have our Aristocrat S45 mechanism all split apart. This is where it gets really scary. But just to replace the drive wheel on this, you have to go this far, and we're not even there yet. Um, <clears throat> the thing to remove, the first thing you have to do is to remove this, this top plate here. And in order to remove the top plate, there are six screws. One here, one here. There are two hidden under the lifting arm, one here and one right there, and then there's two at the end of the mechanism, one over here and one over here. But before you take those off, you have to take off, I have this back on here now just to show you where it is in the mechanism, and all aristocrats use this assembly. This is the, uh, this, this assembly here lifts the arm, and it's like a little scissors jack. You have to take out that screw, and there's a spring that hangs from this little permanent uh, loop on the frame on the top panel, and it goes around that little hook there. Then in the front, there's a spring from this bar, and it hooks down onto the mechanism on this post here. It hooks right to there. It hooks right to this little hook holder right there. But that scissors little thing has to come completely out. As well, if you look at this thing here, this uh, loopy, this, this assembly right there, that uh, part there, that oblong hole or slot fits into this post right here. So you have to remove the E-ring and the red uh, lubricating washer that's on this thing. You have to remove that. And as I say, that's before you try to take off this top panel. Once you get that off, then you can take off the six screws and then this panel will lift up and out of the way. Splitting the thing into two different pieces, you have, I'm going to put it like this, and you're going to have to use your imagination on some of this because I've already got it apart and I'm not going to put it back together again. This thing is, sits right on top of here. I don't know if I can successfully do this because there's a lot of uh, stuff going on here. I eh, might be able to do, it, to do it. Yeah, okay. We can see something interesting, uh, something else interesting here. We didn't show you this yesterday. This solenoid back here, this is the third solenoid. This is a push-out solenoid, and it has a very, sl a very short travel. But this shifts the transmission from record dropping to restacking depending on which mode it has to be in. Not to be confused with the, this solenoid over here, which is the trip solenoid, which instigates the whole mechanism cycle to start. This solenoid back here hits a bar under this side here. It hits that bar, that flat bar right there, and shifts the gear sideways out of the way so it goes between record dropping and recycling. As I say, it is, that's what it is, a transmission. But anyway, this part here sits on here with four screws, four screws, one, actually barrels, little threaded barrels. Um, one on here, here, whoops, tilt over, one here, and one back on top of here. You have to take off those four things, but wait, there's more. You have to unsolder the two wires from this switch right here. You have to unsolder those two wires from right there. And you also have to disconnect this, the fine spring from this ratchet dog, which is what it's called for the credit unit. There's a fine spring that curls around and attaches to an unused terminal underneath this switch right here. It attaches right there. You have to do that before you try to take this whole top assembly off here, or you're going to stretch the spring out. There's another spring from this post right here. It hangs down, that permanent post, and it attaches over to this same one that this spring is on here on the record travel uh, bar. This is the bar that pulls the arm back out of the way when it's cycling, and the other the spring hooks onto there. So you have to remove that spring plus the credit unit spring. As you can see, it's as a matter of fact, it's hanging right here. The little spring just hangs down. It doesn't come off of this part here. It stays behind. Take off those two springs. Take off the two wires. And then you can take this top this assembly out here, and then you can start to take it apart to get to the drive wheel. 
to do that, of course, you have a set screw, which on this one is missing. You have to take out a set screw right there. You have to loosen that screw down there. There's a sideways mounted screw that squeezes a shoulder boss that holds the shaft of the turntable from pulling out. You have to loosen that screw, take off that set screw, remove that gear, and then, and only then, can you get to the turntable to pull the turntable out. Then you can get to the drive wheel. Fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. But, uh... This is quite different than the bubble top aristocrat because it's being a selective, selective, the transmission is a little bit different. This part here is all the same. This is the, the restacking uh, guide and <clears throat> you know, just part of the transmission gearing. There's a cam here that uh, uh, this, this guides the record uh, arm out of the way and so forth. It's, uh, it's quite a intricate mechanism and it's... Uh, Fascinating and scary at the same time. But anyway, there it is for right now.